Hello sustainable growers, this is Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics. Today we're going to talk about flood and drain system in aquaponics. We're going to see that it's the most common mistake uh, for beginners. You, it's very important to have a flood and drain system in the aquaponics setup. We're going to see why and we're going to see how to build one. So we're going to see that there are two types. There is a, a bell siphon and the timer, the timer on the pump and we're going to see how to design it uh, very easily. So if you're a beginner and you are uh, starting to build your own aquaponic system and watch the end because we're going to see how to put it in place in the aquaponic setup it's extremely easy to do extremely easy to build but before that please give me a like and if you haven't done it yet subscribe to the channel So a lot of aquaponics beginners are building their own aquaponics setup by themselves, which is excellent, which is really good. Uh, and uh, they, they are able to build a nice fish tank and to put a nice grow bed on top, put a little pump inside and uh, basically they leave the setup as it is with just a pipe a pipe uh, into the grow bed uh, falling into the fish tank, which means that you are going to have a constant water level into your grow bed and this have uh, a very negative impact on the setup so at the beginning if you launch a setup without a flood and drain system during the first month the setup is going to work really well you're going to see your vegetables growing but after a few months you're going to have some serious problems the flood and drain system is very important because this is where you're going to have the water that is going up and down and therefore it's going to provide the oxygen for the bacteria. So you know that in an aquaponic setup, in a grow bed, we got a lot of bacteria that are living here. And the bacteria, obviously we don't see them and as beginners, uh, beginners are uh, focusing on the vegetables and on the fish. But the reality is that between the vegetables and the fish, what is doing the magic of aquaponics, what is transforming all this ammonia that is uh, released into the, into the water, into nitrates and nitrates, and the nitrate is the food for the plant. So the, the element that is, uh, that is doing this, this trick is, is really the bacteria. All the bacteria, those living creatures that are living on the media that is uh, on the grow bed. So, you know, in the grow bed, I got some media, I got some rocks. And on the surface of those rocks, obviously, we got a lot of different bacteria, different species of bacteria. And it's very important to understand that those bacteria have some requirements and to live they need some nutrients they need they need a specific ph specific temperature specific um, conditions and one of the conditions is to be in an aerobic environment which means aerobic means they need oxygen to survive so if those bacteria are constantly into the water at the beginning when you launch your aquaponic system this water is going to be full of oxygen so that's fine but after a few months you're going to accumulate here in the grow bed you're going to accumulate a lot of fish poo and this fish poo with the time normally is transformed by the bacteria right but it's also stuck between the media and not only fish poo it's also a lot of organic matters such as leaves and plant roots when you begin your aquaponic system you just uh, have a pump into your aquaponic setup and the water is coming here into the grow bed. If you don't have a drain and flood system, the water level that is constant is going to start to become anaerobic on the bottom, which means that you are not going to have a good quantity of oxygen into the grow bed. And therefore, the bacteria that are aerobic are going to start to die. And then other bacteria are going to come and those other bacteria are going to be anaerobic they're going to be responsible for fermentation and uh, the, the job they are going to do is, is not the one you want. It's going to smell very bad into you, around your aquaponic setup. And obviously, you're not going to have any bacteria to do the fantastic job of transforming the uh, ammonia into nitrates and into nitrates, which is a plant fertilizer. So what is going to happen is that the toxicity of the water is going to increase. The toxicity is basically the quantity of ammonia and the quantity of nutrients that you're going to have into the water. Those two elements at high density, they are very toxic for the fish. So if you don't have the good bacteria, if you create an environment here that is not aerobic, which means which has not a lot of oxygen, your fish are going to die at one point or another. So now 
how we create this aerobic environment, it's, it's thanks to the flood and drain system. So a flood and drain system simply means that we want to have the water level here, which is going to go up and down several times per hour. And uh, for that, we got two options. We can work with what we call a bell siphon. I made a video about the bell siphon, so you can see this video. And today, what I want to talk about is um, the timer system. So you can put a timer on your pump, and we're going to see that there is a little trick to do to allow the water level to go up and down uh, several times per hour. So now, the timer system is definitely the easiest uh, option to have a flood and drain system in your aquaponic setup. So a lot of beginners don't do that simply because it's, it seems too complex to put it in place. But what I will show you today is very basic, very easy. So if you are starting your aquaponic setup, please put it in place. It doesn't cost much money at all and it's very easy to do. Now, if a lot of people are going for bell siphon, and personally, I, I definitely prefer the bell siphon, because the bell siphon is working with gravity and it's, it's sucking all the water, so it makes a nice flush uh, into your grow bed, which means that it kind of aerates the water a bit more, and uh, especially also it avoids uh, the grow bed to plug too easily, you know, because with the time, you're gonna have some organic matters that are gonna be uh, clogged between the, the media. But uh, with a bell siphon, you give a nice flush into the system. The water is going away quite quickly. So you have some organic matters that are moving as well. And then when they fall, they break down in smallest particles and they're going to be transformed more easily by your ecosystem. But the timer system is going to work as well, quite well, uh, even if it requires a bit more maintenance into the grow bed. Instead of cleaning your grow bed, maybe uh, once every three years, you will have to clean it every year or uh, more or less depending on how you feed your fish and the temperature and the spaces and a lot of different factors. So now I propose you to see how it works. So here is a system that I use for demonstrations. So on the bottom we got the fish tank and on top we got the grow bed. So the grow bed here hasn't got any media uh, but uh, you know a classic setup like this one has the media. I just don't put the media here because I want to show you how it works so to see the water level so here we got normally a lot of media but inside there is no media right so this pipe here is only here to allow the water to go through thanks to some slots that are uh, on the side so you can see from inside there are some slots so the water can go through but the media is staying outside so this space inside here is always empty or full of water but there is nothing that can come inside and therefore, here you have a black pipe. And this black pipe is going to determine the maximum level of water into this tank. So obviously, when we plug the pump, the water here, the water level is increasing all the time, right? Because the water has nowhere to go until the water level reach the top of this black pipe. So once the water level reach the top of this black pipe, the water is going to go through and this, this pipe is falling back into the fish tank that is underneath, right? So here, when the pump is on, the water level is going to be at the, at the height of the black pipe. So here, depending on the pipe, you can cut it at the height you want to determine the maximum water level of the grow bed. And then what you want to do is at the base of this black pipe, you want to, you want to drill a little hole that is going to allow the water to go through. So the water is gonna is gonna go through the through the pipe to the hole at the base of the of the black pipe. So what we have inside this pipe here is exactly this. So we have uh, this is just a fitting to go through the the bottom of the tank, right? And here you got the stand-up pipe. So the water, when the pump is on, is able to go through this pipe here. But it is also able to go through this little hole. So when the, go the water goes through here, it falls down into the fish tank. And when the water is on, when the pump is on, the water flow coming is bigger than whatever water flow can come through this little hole. So the water level increases to reach this point here on the, on the top. But 
But when the water pump is off, the water is going to drain slowly through this little hole and it's going to fall down into the fish tank. Which means that we're going to have, depending on the cycle, you put, if, you, if you put the pump, the pump on every 10 minutes, every 15 minutes, on and off every 10 or 15, you just have to see how long it takes to drain and then you can start the pump again. So basically your water level is going to go up and down and all the time during the day. So going up and down obviously, when uh, the water is down, the bacteria are completely exposed to the oxygen of the atmosphere. So they're going to be full of oxygen and when the water level is high, uh, they're going to be into the water, but this water is new water, right? Because it's been drained just before, so it's all new water. This water is full of oxygen as well. So the, the bacteria are always able to breathe uh, the oxygen and therefore your conditions are always aerobic. That's very important to put it in place. So as you can see, the pump is off. Nothing is coming here, nothing is coming through the pipe, through the pump, but down here we still have a bit of water coming simply through the little uh, hole of the stand-up pipe. So when the pump is on, we can see that the water level here coming is very important. It's, it's quite a big water, water, water flow. while underneath it's a very small water flow. So basically there is more water coming inside the grow bed than water going out of the grow bed. So right now the water level is increasing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to this video you will be able to put in place a nice flow and drain system and you will be able to keep your bacteria happy. You will keep a nice population of bacteria, which is really the key to maintain a good aquaponic setup in good conditions. And thanks to those bacteria, you will be able to grow amazing food. So if you haven't done it yet, don't forget to give me a like and to share this video with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it. And don't forget that on the bottom of the video, you can have access to a free guide to completely breed your own aquaponic system uh, from scratch. So uh, it's free, it's designed for you, for any beginner, so please download it. If you are watching this video on YouTube, you will see that on the description of the video just below, you will have access to some free gifts. First, you have access to a six-step process to be able to build your own aquaponic system in good conditions. I developed this six-step process because I found that too many beginners are basically starting aquaponics with a wrong design. So if you want to build your own aquaponics setup, please just follow this uh, six-step uh, process. It's completely free, right? I really designed it to help you to build your setup in good conditions and therefore to succeed in aquaponics. The second gift is for people who already have aquaponics. A very uh, common problem we have in aquaponics is that we got the leaves of the vegetables that are turning yellow. And the reason why is because basically in, in, uh, in aquaponics we sometimes need to add some minerals otherwise the vegetables have some deficiencies. So if you have this problem, I made a special video about it as well and you can have access to it in the description of the video. It's uh, the free bonus video. Uh, if you are very interested into aquaponics, you can also have access to a webinar, uh, a free webinar specific to aquaponics. I deliver a lot of information. Finally, you are probably aware that I wrote a digital aquaponics manual called The Art of Aquaponics. And you can have access to a free excerpt of this aquaponics manual where I add a lot of value and give you a lot of my knowledge about aquaponics. So don't forget that you can have access to those four gifts on the description of the video. And I'm sure they're going to help you to develop your aquaponics setup and to produce your own sustainable and healthy food in good conditions. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon.
and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!